to control any type of relay how a sensor is connected and along with this relay how load is connected so that when an object is sensed by a sensor the load is turned on and similarly on removing object load is turned off how to do complete wiring for this function will also be discussed let's start the video whenever a high voltage application is to be operated through low voltage then this type of relay is needed it means through low voltage we will turn on and off this relay and this relay will further turn on and off high voltage applications this relay which i have now is manufactured by cnc company you can see the model number here at the last of model number 2 is written this means 2 no and 2 nc contact are present inside if 4 was written here then 4 no and 4 nc must be present total 3 relay i have right now with same model number but all these three are different see the model number of relay only describes how much contact are present but it does not describe about the input voltage to operate relay if i take this relay and look closely to coil part you can see 12 volt dc is written here this means 12 volt dc input voltage is required on the second relay 24 volt dc is written which means to operate this relay 24 volt dc power supply is required on this last relay you can see 220 slash 240 volt ac is written that means this works on ac power supply you observed that model number for all is same but voltage required to operate these relay will be different for each i want to operate this lamp with the help of this sensor to operate this sensor dc power supply is required you must have already know that to operate this incandency lamp ac power supply is required so with the sensor i can turn on and off this lamp only by connecting relay in between i have three different relays and which one is perfect for this purpose is a question there is a simple solution check operating voltage of sensor you can see it is written 5 volt to 40 volt dc power supply so we can only use this 12 volt relay and 24 volt relay we cannot use ac relay to provide power supply to sensor i am using this smps this smps which i have now requires 12 volt for output so this 12 volt relay fits perfectly in this condition we can avoid this 24 volt relay how to do wiring let's understand you will always find either 3 or 4 wires in sensor if i take 3 wire then brown is for positive blue is for negative power supply i will connect these wires with the positive and negative terminals of smps we receive output supply from this black wire so i am connecting an extension wire with black wire and other end of wire is to be connected at either 13 or 14 number terminal before doing this first have a look towards sensor if you have a pnp type sensor then output signal will be of positive type and if npn type of sensor is used then you will receive negative power supply right now i have npn type sensor so this output signal is to be connected at 13 number terminal of relay the negative power supply required to operate relay is fulfilled by this sensor now positive power supply is required what we will do is connect a piece of wire from positive terminal of smps and other end of wire must be connected to 14 number terminal of relay after this we can operate this relay with the help of this sensor as you can see contact is changing whenever an object comes close to sensor now in this lamp this neutral power supply is to be connected at neutral terminal of ac power supply this connector which i have now is already connected with phase supply and neutral power supply so i connected neutral supply of lamp with connector to provide phase supply to lamp we can use either no or nc contact from relay right now i am using no contact one number terminal is of no so i am connecting phase wire here after this at common terminal also i will provide phase supply i am connecting one end of wire at common terminal and other end of wire is to be connected to phase supply connection required to operate lamp through sensor is now completed i used no contact of relay for connection so what happening is whenever an object is sensed by sensor lamp turns on and when object is removed lamp turns off for now if i use nc contact then what happen is if no object is present then lamp will remain on but when an object come close to sensor then lamp will turn off friends i hope you like this video if you like this video 
please do like share and comment on video if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video